What's up guys? So we have a new project today. It's not RC, it's not M3, it's the X5 Daily. We are going to do full paint correction and all the stuff. I painted it probably about uh, six months ago or so and um, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanna make it perfect because I don't know, that's what I like. So that's so what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by polishing and getting some, I had like a little piece of trash and stuff out from just painting in the booth um, a while ago. I haven't got out yet. Paint's finally cured definitely over cured so i'm gonna go ahead and nib some of those out with just like some 3000 paper get all that done and we're gonna do g technic csl followed by two coats of xo v4 that's what i like the best it just works flawlessly it's been on m3 for like two years no problems fantastic love it so we're gonna be doing that i really hope you guys enjoy this and it's gonna be kind of not really a how to just how i do it uh, if you learn some stuff from it freaking awesome i like love that so we'll let's get to it what we're going to do now is what i want to start off is doing like a decon wash so it's going to be washing the whole truck with decon soap um right now i have adam's strip wash it's pretty good i need to get some from matt from obsessed garage his stuff is like top tier so i'm gonna get some of that light i don't need to clay bar this because i keep the truck pretty clean it was like i said it wasn't painted that long ago so i'm just doing the strip wash to get all the protectant off okay so i want to go over kind of what i'm using and what you will need First thing, three bucket method. If you don't already do this, it's awesome. I can go over a washing thing, but really just watch up this garage. It, he's awesome. Um, first, just a wash bucket, then a rinse bucket, and then a wheel bucket, whatever that is. Right there, wheel buckets. And go ahead and wash the vehicle like normal. We're going to be using, like I said, Adam's strip wash. The caps broke off, whatever. And then I have an MTM hydro foam can, and I do foam the vehicle. Then have just, these are my two decon mitts. I only use them for like decon. Um, then we have this that I use for the roof, hard to get, just microfiber thing. And then this is just some cleaner. My buddy makes really good stuff. Check out his website if you want to. This stuff's awesome. It's just, um, it's similar to a simple green, but like this stuff's better. It doesn't smell as bad and I just like it. It's easily dilutable and it's just really strong. So I kind of use that for the wheel wells and etc. You can use it on your wheels and everything. It's safe for all that stuff, just depending on how you dilute it for certain things. This has some microfibers for the wheels, just drying towels and door jam towels. Then for like the paint correction or whatever we're gonna be doing, if I have any of those trash, uh, just some a 3M block, if it requires block, just some random little tiny blocks, whichever ones you prefer. I usually use two microfibers for that. I'll go over all that in a second. And then just some 3M paper, 2,000, 1,500, and 3,000. And that kind of sums up like what I'm going to be using for this personal thing. But if you're doing like a whole decon, I do recommend like a clay mitt. I don't really recommend a clay bar unless that's what you want. It just kind of gets messy. But this company right here, um, Nano Skin, I'm opening the package, has a really good clay mat uh, mitt and it, it's awesome. Um, right here, Nano Skin. <laughs> So the truck's completely washed and dried down. I just washed the like wheels and stuff off camera because I ended up taking the wheels off when I get it inside. But right now she cleaned up pretty good. The strip wash did not seem to like remove um, protectant in a way because it was still beating water. But we'll see. It probably did a better job than anything else would really. Well, not material wise, but just like doing anything else to it. I will wipe it with CarPro Eraser just before I do like any major polishing and stuff. But for right now it's clean. It's deconned. And as far as I'm going to go with decon, like I said, no clay bar. You can, like not like rubbing the paint, but if you rub it right here, like I don't feel anything. I don't hear any grit in it. The paint's just really smooth and clean. Like I said, it's perfectly fine. So we're gonna jump on the rest of it in a little bit. Okay, so I might've went a little far on my correction or compounding and like sanding and everything. There was a bunch of spots I didn't like and I just kind of got tired of it. And I ended up like wet sanding, I don't know, 60% of the truck. That's all done, all compounded. Now we're going to move on to the random orbital and we're going to do, uh, I have a Rupes Mark III. We're gonna use Rupes yellow uh, polishing pad followed by Sonax, perfect finish. So awesome combo, works fantastic. And we're just gonna go through that, do a couple passes on every panel, get that done, then wipe the whole truck with CarPro Eraser. Then once we're done with that, we'll see if I missed anything. And then if not, then we'll step up to coating. So yes, this is kind of a mess, but um, Rupes Mark III, then have just some random pads I've been using. Meguiar's microfiber pads are great. 
I didn't really use these. I haven't used these yet. I was going to test with them, but I didn't. Um, these are, this is just some ones that I have that I've cleaned. Um, that's what's in these packages. These are great. Um, I, I love these pads. They're awesome. Then two compounds I was using was Cut Max. This is an older bottle I've had, but it's, just, it's almost done. So that's why I have that one sitting there. Then this is the perfect finish that we're going to tie into with the yellow pad. It does fantastic together and it's, it's really good stuff. And I also wanted to show something like if you guys are using this to try to like learn how to do this. So I kind of want to be as helpful as possible, not just entertaining. We are starting fresh with a brand new um, yellow Rupes pad and you need to prime the pad essentially. So what you're going to do is just take your polish compound, whatever you're using for whichever pad. Once you shake it and you're going to put about four dots. Just like that on the pad. Since and please forgive me because I'm doing this one handed. I'm going to take this and kind of put it in a spot and you're going to cut it on. I'm starting the lowest speed. And start, I started with one hand, it wasn't working. So you're gonna take on one speed. Um, start with one space. Then after a couple seconds like that, it starts to get all the polish in the pad and just coats everything and the pad's got a little bit of heat in it. Then you're gonna go and put four more dots on here. And now you can proceed with doing the panel or whatever you are doing. Okay, the entire truck is compounded, polished, and all that good stuff. Next up is to wipe the entire thing with Car Pro Eraser and just make sure I get all the polish off, all the stuff from just polishing the dust and all that good stuff. And then we go into starting to coat the vehicle. We're going to do one coat of CSL by G Technic that has to sit about 12 hours or just really overnight. Then I'll come in the morning and I will put a coat of uh, XO V4 over the top of it. And then I'll probably let that sit like a couple hours or maybe three hours or so. And then I'll top it again with another coat of XOV4. Then after that, um, the truck's just going to sit really the rest of the day and it should be ready. I'll do an overview of everything, kind of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and such. But really good. The paint turned out pretty good. It looks really deep and everything behind me. So that was good. The shadow black trim and all that good stuff just turned out fantastic. Little carbon pieces at the bottom cleaned up very nice. So I'm really excited about this. I am skipping and not doing it perfection right now because I'm just running out of time and have other things I have to get done. But the wheels and stuff will come off later and I'll correct those and cut those off the truck, clean the brakes and everything in there and all that. And I want to paint the calipers red to match the M3. So I'm going to do all that later. But Okay, so kind of what I want to show here is what I'm doing to prep the paint for the coating in a way. I have this big fluffy towel that I like to use. Some people don't like the big fluffy ones, I do. Then we have Car Pro Eraser, not diluted or anything, just straight Car Pro Eraser. And what we want to do to a panel with this fender is I'll just do a couple mists. I'll take this towel on one side and I'll just barely apply pressure and I'll wipe the entire panel from top to bottom. Then I'll flip the rag over and I'll do the same thing over again to make sure I get all of it off. And then once I go through that, I just do that and then ensure that I got it all off. Sometimes like I don't like touching the bottom and then going to the top, so I just dust this off my hand. Like this stuff isn't wiping away right here. And I just go over that again one more time to just ensure that I've gotten everything off of it. That's about right there. And this stuff will evaporate pretty well, so you don't have to do that. But that's what I do to every panel before I go over the whole truck. 
with the coating, I just like to do this, wipe the whole thing down. It's really, you can't really skip it. I feel like it's a very necessary step. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this. Okay, the entire truck is wiped down, looks fantastic. This is essentially what it's gonna look like when it's coated. It will be like a little, maybe brighter, like as far as shininess and a little deeper from the coating, just enhancing the paint because it's just raw paint right now. Completely wiped down, no protection on it, no anything, it's just raw paint. Give you guys a little overview, but with that being said, now we're going to move on to the next step. Next step is getting our coating ready and preparation for that. You want to make sure the car has no dust on it, no lint, no anything. Just try to get in a confined area that you can close off and just not have any traffic around. If that makes sense, like taking dust or doing anything. Then after I went with the Car Pro, um, it is susceptible to scratching in a way. It just depends how you want to do it. Some panels I felt like they didn't wipe well. I took that same um, dark blue, like really um, nappy microfiber and I have another new one. I took one that I hadn't used before and I went and wiped over some of the panels that I was kind of questionable about. I didn't know if they completely wiped off all the eraser from. So I just went over that and it is susceptible to a little scratching, but this truck is a daily. It's not perfect. I just want it to be water and not water spot and all that stuff. And I, know, I just really like this coating. It makes the paint look so good. Okay, so now we're gonna go over what you're gonna need to put the coating on and level the coating. Uh, first of all, I wanted to mention, I forgot this. this is a little scan grip light. It's not expensive. It's like, I think a hundred bucks or something, but this will essentially show you if you have any scratches left and it's just supposed to be really good. It has that setting and it has this different temperature settings and brightness. It's just really good light. I really like it. And it just helps with seeing everything I do that for. I do every step and just kind of go over the paint here and there with the light. It's very good. Um, iPhone light or flashlight on your phone is perfectly fine too. You don't have to have that fancy thing. It's just cool. Different colors you do, the temperature switches and it has um, brightness options. It's awesome. But back to this, as far as this goes, you'll need your coating, whatever you're using. I'm using G-Technic CSL followed by XOV4. Then you're going to need your coating. You're gonna need an applicator and little suede applicator pads for it. You don't have to use suede. You can use whichever applicator you desire. You're gonna need an applicator. I use this little CarPro block, and then this has um, just one that I put on here just to demonstrate. Kind of clips in right here, and it'll just help keep it on there. But we're gonna be using these Geon ones. I just got these um, from Detailed Image I'm gonna try out. I think these are used as CarPro um, ones that this white one is I usually get. So you're gonna need that. Then as far as to level the coating, you're gonna need some just microfiber. Um, these are just some extras that I bought that aren't for that. But these green towels right here, uh, Detailed Image sells them. They are just ceramic coating towels made for leveling the coating. So essentially what's gonna happen here, I'm going to apply this, I'm going to apply this coating on here. And then within like a 30 second time frame, I'm gonna go and wipe over top of it very gently. And essentially what that's doing is you're taking the um, high spots of the coating. When you apply this, you see that the block is only this big, like size of my palm. So which, and it can leave streaks where you do it if you don't overlap, even if you overlap, it still leave streaks. So essentially what leveling is going to do with that rag is you're going to take this coating where the lines come from you just overlapping and such forth, it's gonna take and level it, just like it says. It's really simple, but this is kind of where you make or break it. You gotta be careful about the time that you do it, due to the humidity, the temperature outside, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's pretty hot, it's like 80 degrees, it's not that bad, but you kinda just wanna keep that in um, your mind of what kind of atmosphere you're in or climate and just level it to what you think. What I do is I, say I'm gonna do, I break the hood in half just per se, and I'll wait till I notice it's hazed and it's starting to kind of like, I don't know, in painting we call it fish eyeing, but it's kind of starting to fish eyeing, just like kind of. So if you could see yeah, to the left right there, the BMW badge, it's kind of just like that. Now, see it's kind of, it's starting to change and get more streaky in a way. And just over time, that'll generally change. I'll show you when I get to it. It just starts to look weird. It starts to look different than when you first put it on. Whenever I see that, I know, okay, it's time to start leveling this. But usually my rule of thumb is, because the weather here is usually the same or when I do the stuff, I go over it and coat it with a block. And then by the time I get to my cart and grab my rag, it's usually ready and like flashed off is what I call it. And that's kind of my rule of thumb. Every way you want to do it's different. That's how I do it. If that works for you, awesome. If it doesn't, do your other way. It doesn't have to be a certain way. It's just whatever works for you to get the best result. We're about to get to it. Uh, Beamer is helping a ton. He's awesome. Now he's fighting himself. But anyway, we're about to get to it. I had to put it in the paint booth. I wasn't confident doing it outside. It's just so much more convenient to have the lights. It's just amazing. Great blessing. That paint booth. So. We're gonna go ahead and start coating it. All right, so right here I have a new applicator on there and have the CSL 
this bottle I've been using a lot, but this is essentially how I do this. What I do is I take, put this on here, take and do this, and I basically draw a line. Just like that, that's all you need. Do a panel at a time, and we're gonna go about this. So I'm gonna start in the center of the hood and kind of just do this section of the hood right here. Just gonna put this down, go in a straight line, and you can should be able to see that it's making a line, and I'm just gonna overlap directly over that line. And keep on, I don't ever pick the block up. I just gonna keep going as I do. Just like this. These green rags like folded into the square section. Uh, it's really best to have two of these also, I forgot to mention. Kind of at the same time, in a way. So I can see right here, it's still not ready. It's just kind of there, if that makes sense. It just looks the same way that I put it on. So I'm gonna let that sit a little bit more. See if I can get you guys up closer. So if you could see, yeah, to the left right there, the BMW badge, it's kind of just like that. Now, see, it's kind of it's starting to change and get more streaky in a way. And just over time, that'll generally change. And that's kind of how I know when I'm ready or when I want to take the coating off. Like right there, I can see it's changed. And so now I'm going to begin just very light pressure. I'm just going to take and wipe this just like that. And then I'm gonna come back with my other one and do the exact same thing. And then that's it. And then it's very important to also note that if you are doing this like panel to panel, you need to wipe over top of that other panel past where you applied the coating, if that makes sense. Kind of wipe past it. And the reason for that is you can easily drag this and cross contaminate in a way and not even really notice it. And then you have streaks and everything. You're like, what? I didn't even put coating there. But it's because of that rag when you were leveling it, you drug it to the other panel. So it's kind of very important to keep that in your head that as you go, that's a possibility and you just kind of need to keep going over that. So you keep that from happening. Uh, you should be able to get away depending on how big the vehicle is. We have one um, little, I think I bought a 50 mil. You should be able to do probably two vehicles of that very easily. I definitely don't see why you wouldn't be able to do so. And see, so I'm very close to this paint on, and plus where I wiped, I'm just wiping over top of where I went, kind of past that, just to ensure I don't have any of that coating sticking over on the other stuff that I just did. Okay, she's done. First coat of EXO is complete, 100%. Looks really good, it went on very smooth. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna do an overview now and show you guys. The paint is just enhanced so much already and it just looks so good. And it's not perfect, but it's a daily driver. I didn't want perfect. I think I got all the scratches out. I didn't get all of the little like imperfections out and stuff, but some of the like, I have a mirror cap that's like got a little chip in it over there. So I'm gonna get the carbon fiber caps later. So it's just little stuff like that. So keep that in mind when you're looking at it, it's not perfect. I know you don't comment, oh, you have a spot here. I, dude, I don't care. It's my truck, it's how I want it to be. But hope you guys really enjoy it. It looks really good and then we'll get into doing XO tomorrow. Okay, something else I wanted to note real quick and make clear, these two little rags right here that you use to level the coating and just put everything uh, down to make it all nice and look awesome like your car does or truck, whatever, um, they're no longer good for like anything. They're gonna, this ceramic coating could like crystallize and just get hard, it's just, it's ceramic. So with that being said, just make them a detail or something. I have a box over there when I clean towels, depending on how they clean up, like, B, C, and D, uh, make this like a detail, like details you use like under the hood or door jams if you really wanted to maybe, or like something like that. Just be very cautious of that. Don't use them for anything that's like on paint anymore. These are done. You throw them away if you don't want to. A lot of people just throw them away. I just keep for details, but it's kind of wasteful to throw them away and you just use it to clean up oil or something. Then secondly, this little applicator pad, also throw that away. This, if you come back in the morning, just leave it on this pad if you want, it'll be hard to the touch in a way. And the same thing's gonna happen to those microfibers. Then another thing, as far as 
um, like for instance, I used like a quarter of that um, one CSL bottle and another one used like a quarter, which would be half bottle. But if you bought a new kit, you probably have half a bottle left of CSL right now. Just tighten the cap really tight, put it back in the box, keep it in a cool dry place on your detailing shelf, wherever you want to keep it. It'll stay good probably maybe a year or so. I don't really know the extent of the shelf life on it. Uh, I've definitely had a coating that's set over six months, just in a bottle like that. They just screwed the cap back on, it's been perfectly fine. It didn't tape it up or nothing. Just tighten the cap and left it alone. So you should be fine if you want to do your wife's car, or you're doing your wife's car, do your car, do something else. It'll be fine for a while. It's not going to automatically go bad. You don't have to throw it away. What's up guys? Good morning. This is the next morning. We are going to go ahead and uh, proceed with our EXO coating. I have it sitting right here. This little bottle, same deal. Have another new suede applicator applied to my block. Have two new uh, coating removal towels and we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing over again. And this coating goes on a little bit differently and it removes a little differently as well. And what you're gonna do with this one, it's about seven in the morning, so probably about 11 o'clock, I'm gonna do the second coating. This one probably wait three hours before you do layer it again. The first coating CSL is not layerable. Do not put more than one layer. This XO is layerable uh, two times, I, mean, I guess really however many times you want to do it, but normal roll of thumb is just two times. So what I'm going to do is right now and then probably finish by 8 o'clock, so then 11 o'clock I'll come back and do it again. So whatever you do, just three hour time frame is kind of the deal here if you're going to do the two coats like I'm do going to do, and then that should be it. Okay, so the EXO is done. We have the first coat down. It looks fantastic, it looks really good. Went down flawlessly. Just like I was saying, this stuff is not as easy to level and remove. It will easily go to another panel. So just be very cautious and wipe your panels extra because it, it's just as simple to doing that. And you'll notice a streak on that. Like I should have done the fender when I did the hood, etc. But just be very cautious of how you're leveling it and wiping it. And you shouldn't have any problems. I'm gonna come back in three hours and do this whole thing again. Okay. Now I'm completely finished. I have done CSL, XO, and XO on top, two coats of XO V4. And the truck looks fantastic. It looks so good. It's so deep. It's just bright and it, it, I love it. It's great. This coating is my favorite coating to date so far. I've put it on multiple cars and it's just awesome. It performs well, it lasts a long time and it just provides ultimate durability. I love this stuff. Guys, you definitely need to do your vehicle if you are crazy about it being clean all the time, definitely look up doing this stuff. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll do an overview of it a little bit and then I'll put it on the sun, but it looks so good. So good, I've been this forever. I don't know why I waited so long. Okay, and now that we're officially done with the coating, what you need to do is just let the vehicle sit 12 hours again. It needs to sit overnight would be just a good rule of thumb. If you could do this in like a late afternoon, that'd be perfect. And in the morning, you're fine to take a vehicle outside, put in the elements, but it really needs to sit inside, like just a cool, dry place for 12 hours. And then you'll be good. Um, like I said, if you're in a time crunch 12 hours, really overnight is ideal and it'll be perfectly fine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing it. I don't so much like wet sanding or polishing anymore. I don't know why I just kind of just lost my love for it, but the coating part I really like. It's just really satisfying to put it on and then see the after result. It's so rewarding, it's so worth it. But if you guys like this, please leave a like. If you didn't like, leave a dislike. Uh, remember to subscribe. We have a ton of content coming up. Some more stuff with the M3 soon. Definitely some new crawler stuff coming up. And I just hope you guys have an awesome day and I really appreciate you watching.